These are skulls of a modern human, a chimpanzee, and a gorilla. And the reason I have these on the table is I wanted to illustrate how studying modern comparative anatomy is the key to reconstructing early hominids. So there's, there are muscles that move at the side of your head as you chew. You can feel them changing shape at, at your temple. And they're attached differently in these three species. Um, humans have small temporalis muscles that only come about this far up on the skull. There's a chewing muscle that occurs in all three species, but it's differently shaped in different species. And that shows up in its attachment on the bone. In gorillas, the temporalis muscles, the chewing muscles, are so large that during the life of an individual, that muscle grows and gets to the top of the head and meets with its counterpart and stimulates the growth of a bony crest. Uh, humans and chimps don't have large enough chewing muscles to make such a crest. But when we discover a fossil skull that looks like this, and it has such a crest, uh, it's not a big mystery what that crest means. It means that this uh, individual had large enough chewing muscles to develop this bony crest. And that tells you that, that those muscles went all the way up on the head and met with their counterpart on the other side and stimulated the growth of this crest. So it's an example of how we can use modern comparative anatomy to uh, figure out what the soft tissue looked like for ancient uh, human ancestors.